Let's touch, if we may, uh, on this sort of current pullback. Do you actually welcome that as a, as a long-term buying opportunity for a lot of the stocks you love, or are you feeling the heat a little bit? Growth stocks have collapsed in price since the beginning of the year. Now that this has been going on for a three month straight, I figured I'd share my opinion on ARK Invest strategy, their performance, and where I think things will go from here. If you enjoy this type of market commentary and want to stay informed, even as others continue to sell in May and go away, consider liking this video and subscribing with all notifications turned on. That way you'll be the first to know when I come out with new research, regardless of how YouTube tunes its algorithm. Let's take a look at ARK Invest's top five holdings, which make up over 20% of their six actively managed funds. What I'm showing you here is a bar chart of ARK Invest's fund allocations, where each color is how many dollars ARK has associated with this stock in this given fund. For example, on May 20th, 2021, ARK Invest had 1.9 billion dollars in Tesla, ticker symbol TSLA in ARK K, their flagship innovation fund, another 500 million in Tesla in ARK W, ARK Invest's fund themed around the next generation of internet technology, and another 270 million in ARK Q, their fund themed around the autonomous revolution. In total, ARK has over $2.7 billion in Tesla today. However, Kathy Wood had over $3.5 billion of Tesla three months ago. Tesla is down over 30% from there. Kathy Wood had over $2.5 billion in Teladoc, ticker symbol TDOC, whose stock price is down over 50% in the last three months. 5-0. Square, ticker symbol SQ, down over 25%. Roku, ticker symbol ROKU, down over 30%. Shopify, ticker symbol SHOP, down almost 20%. Since ARK Invest focuses solely on innovation stocks, many of ARK Invest's roughly 175 holdings are down by this amount. So what do you think? Is Kathy Wood feeling the heat? Should she hedge her bets or change course to capture some immediate returns? Comment below on what you would do if all eyes were on you and your investment strategy had been bleeding by 10, 20, or even 30% over the last quarter. Seriously, I read all my comments and your voice matters. As for me, I think ARK Invest prepares for these kinds of things. Here's why I say that. I'm sure we're going to go through a doozy of a correction this year at some point. I don't know when, and I don't know why, but I do know it never hurts to take profits and to keep some powder dry so that you have the psychological wherewithal when, uh, when the world seems to be falling apart to pick up on bargain basement prices. That was January 8th's episode of In the Know with Kathy Wood. The rotation out of growth stocks started around February 12th, just one month after that clip. Let me know below if hearing this changes your answer to my earlier question. It's okay if it did. That's the whole point of this channel, to help you and me build up our convictions through research and analysis. Here's how Kathy Wood actually answered the earlier question. Let's touch, if we may, uh, on this sort of current pullback. Do you actually welcome that as a, as a long-term buying opportunity for a lot of the stocks you love, or are you feeling the heat a little bit? Oh, I, I love this setup. Uh, you know, I, the last time I was on, I think I said uh, that this rotation was good news because uh, it meant the bull market was broadening out. It was strengthening. And uh, the, the worst thing that could have happened to us is to have the market narrowly focus on just our ilk of stock, the, the innovation space. Uh, instead, it has broadened out so that year to date, uh, I think it's uh, energy's up 40%, financials are up 27%. And from the peak uh, in mid February, our strategies are down. Uh, well, the, the ones that have been hit the hardest, uh, not all of them, uh, are down 30 to 35%. I love that setup. Uh, uh, we're at from our, our point of view. Side note, you can tell she really wants to say we're at bargain basement prices, but she probably decided not to for compliance reasons. That's just my opinion, but watch her stop herself from saying it. Uh, uh, we're at, from our, our point of view, five year time horizon, nothing has changed except the price and therefore the return, which at the peak uh, of the market and of our strategy in mid-February, we expected a compound annual rate of return of 15% uh, on average per year from our strategies. Uh, now that the prices are down, uh, that, that number is somewhere in the 25 to 30% range. The math here is pretty simple. 
ARK Invest expects their stocks to double on average every five years. That means they're looking for a 15% compound annual growth rate. But now, the prices of the stocks ARK picks are about one-third cheaper, so hitting that same price target means that they should grow at roughly 25% per year instead of 15 That's why Kathy is loving this setup. So wait, is this market downturn actually good for Kathy Wood's business? You may love the setup, Kathy, but it hasn't been great for your business. I mean, we're, we're start to the month on record. You've seen outflows of, of a billion dollars. How are you managing the, these declines? And, and there's speculations of speculation out there that if the outflows, outflows continue, it would be hard to meet redemptions. No. Uh, well, first of all, uh, I don't have to worry about redemptions. ETFs, uh, the ETF ecosystem is a beautiful thing for portfolio managers. I highly recommend it. Uh, and uh, so what that means is when I am making decisions, they are investment decisions. I have nothing to do with the flows. I want to clarify this because I get asked this a lot on Twitter and in my Discord community ever since Jim Cramer told Kathy to close her funds a few months ago to protect herself from these kinds of outflows. It's important to understand how much time ARK Invest spends managing flows and other fund mechanics to keep their investors happy versus actually researching technologies and companies to invest in in the first place. Let me show you the original Jim Cramer clip and then Kathy Wood's response to it. Kathy Wood's arc I saw on Twitter this morning. You asked, what stock is she going to save today? Well, I like to take a, it's kind of, I mean, it's a little bit of a poll. It's a little bit of a parlor game. Uh, she's buying, uh, uh, she's the best there is, got to say that. Um, she's buying every stock that should be crushed by uh, the interest rate move. I mean, that's a, these are classic long uh, dated assets that she's buying, and that's what you're supposed to be selling. But She did have a lot of outflows yesterday, though, Jim. Well, what can I say, Dave? I mean, by the way, I mean, a number that's so big, it's probably larger than her entire fund was only a handful of years ago. Right. So instead, you just see outflows and you say, OK, which one is she going to stop? Is she going to stop Square today? Square did not have a great conference call and they're all Bitcoin, Bitcoin. So maybe she stops the decline in Square. This has become the ultimate parlor game, Carl. We look at these things instead of investing, instead of trying to figure out what the right thing to do is. Do you buy J&J? We are looking and saying, you know what? Holy cow. She is making a statement right now with Aero Environment selling it again. How did this happen? How did this person become what we do for a living? Memo to Kathy Wood, close your fund. Close it. Listen to what the late Jack Bogle would say. Close it. Concentrate on performance, not on trying to deploy capital. It's okay. It's no sin. It's what the great ones do. Peter Lynch did it. I mean, you, you just close it. You don't just sit here and just keep taking in money and taking a look at what stock's down a lot and saying, you know what, I'm doing a cold shot. That's it, Tesla, 620. I'm done. Tesla goes higher. You know, you, that's the kind of hubris. No, David, help what? me here. What? Now here's Kathy Wood on episode nine of Benzinga's Raz Report responding to that Kramer clip, explaining why she doesn't close her funds or change her strategy to focus on performance and how she manages her time as ARK Invest's chief investment officer. Concentrate on performance, not on trying to deploy capital. It's okay. It's no sin. Okay. Now I should just shut up and let you take over your response. Well, uh, he's talking about the ETFs. It is not possible to, to close an ETF. It's just not possible. Uh, so I'm, I'm, I think he's referring to the mutual fund industry, and that's not what we are. Uh, but I think the other mistake that um, that that commentators are making uh, is that they they don't understand that I have nothing to do with the flows. In other words, the ETF ecosystem outside of ARC, the market makers, the authorized participants, they are creating and redeeming baskets of stock, um, which are the stocks we're invested in. But the, I am not seeing, I'm not having to invest those flows or raise money to satisfy redemptions at all. I am investing, do, pure and simple. Uh, I am making investment decisions. I am not dealing with flows. This is such a luxury in a volatile market to be able to focus only on the investing side and not to be forced to do anything because of flows one way or the other. Uh, and from that point of view, I think ETFs are a superior wrapper uh, 
for the portfolio manager. Now, mutual funds have their place in defined contribution funds and so forth. I'm not putting them down, uh, but I think ETFs for an investor, uh, a portfolio manager, uh, are a better wrapper. So, because the funds are regular old ETFs, ARK Invest is set up in a way where all they have to focus on is research, specifically into technology and innovation. That's how they come up with their list of stocks to buy and sell over time. That's why this channel is so research heavy and focuses on ARK Invest, because in my opinion, there's none of this other bullshit associated with managing flows, closing down funds, worrying about leverage, or any other confusing market mechanics in an effort to impress short-term shareholders. ARK just researches market needs, innovative solutions, and invests in the companies they think will provide the best product market fit down the road. Now that I've shown you how all the pieces fit together, keeping some powder dry to take advantage of falling stock prices, stock picks based on research, and performance based only on buying low and selling high, let's take a look at this incredibly deep follow-up analysis on Kathy's comments by none other than Jim Cramer. Take a listen to what Kathy said Friday. Five-year time horizon, nothing has changed except the price. <laughs> so Jim, does that speak to you? Nothing has changed except the price. When I listened to that interview, which was quite good, I thought about a head coach uh, for a Southern NFL team who uh, at halftime was down 21 to nothing. And he started his speech to his team saying, we've got them just where we want them. And I remember saying, why did you say that? He says, I don't know. It's like the most stupid thing you could say. <laughs> <laughs> well, when you're down 30 percent and others are up, um, I guess you got them just where you want them, David. So is Jim Cramer right? Or do you think Kathy is actually in a good position to, and stick with me here, buy low and sell high? Well, it does give you an opportunity to buy even more. Yeah, oh if yeah. If you believe, a lot. as she believes. She Listen, over time, she has had year. the best performance. Five year. And if she well, continues Well, that was then and this is now. Okay, yes, true. Good They're SC killing these stocks. Yes. They're taking all the air out of these stocks and including her relatively unknown stocks. Now they can come back. Carl, the five year... Is, that's terrific. And I hope that the people who are in there, Carl, have a five-year perspective because I think they will do quite well. But right now, there are people who expected a five-day return, and, which is what she gave you. And that's struggling, including the man who was on Saturday Night Live, whose stock, as much as I love him, and he did say that he's like an ad, what did he call himself? What do you expect, some kinder, gentler, chill guy? But, I mean, you know, Tesla's not been a great stock. These things all worked for a period of time. And now, Carl, they're not working. You've got to be in new core. And these people don't new from core. By the way, new core, ticker symbol NUE, is an American steel production company whose stock started to rally right as ARC stock started to fall. It's a stock that moves very differently from advanced technology and growth stocks. Is that really the kind of company Jim Cramer thinks we should be investing in? By the way, if you want to know my thoughts on Jim Cramer, check out the video linked in the top right corner of the screen right now, or you can find it in the description below. I'm sure you'll get a good laugh or two. And speaking of a good laugh or two. Well, maybe they're the next Google and Facebook. Nucor? No, not Nucor. <laughs> no, I'm talking about Woodstock. That's what I call them, by the way. Who? Woodstock. Who do you call Woodstock? Kathy Woodstock. Oh, oh, Woodstock. I see. All those stocks. Well, that's, yeah, <laughs> yeah that is. Yeah. I mean, why not? That was like an unbelievable concert. It, it was. Yeah, it well, was that's in, Woodstock. It was in Bethel, New York, not Woodstock, but yeah. Hopefully this episode provided you with some clarity on why I'm covering ARK Invest, even as their biggest position tumble anywhere from 20 to 50% over the last three months, and the mainstream media continues to pummel them. If I helped you build your own convictions, let me know by liking this video and subscribing to the channel with all notifications turned on. What other people are seeing as ARK's collapse, I personally am seeing as a huge discount on some of the most well-researched, innovative companies in the public markets. And my conviction in ARK Invest's performance only grows as share prices continue to fall. Let me know in the comments below if you see the same thing I do, or if you think I'm missing something big. Your voice matters. Until next time, this is Ticker Symbol U. My name is Alex, reminding you that the best investment you can make is in you.